Hey, this is Simon from the Brackets here at South OC Cars and Coffee. We have got a great turnout today. There's a, another car show on in town and we thought we were going to be down on numbers, but uh, that's not the case. Great turnout. So uh, let's swing the camera around and have a look. So starting off, we got my Camaro. Then we've got a couple of Ford GT side by side. We have Jay's and a friend of his. Yellow and red, don't these things look great? Such iconic cars. Really nice looking cars. Then we've got Pete's uh, brand new uh, GT3. And then uh, a little Aerial Atom. Now, for those people who don't know Aerial, they were a motorcycle company in the UK um, back at, you know, in the early days of the, in the 1900s. Um, and they, um, I don't know whether they closed down and the name was rebought or whether they just kept going. They evolved into this thing. Now, when the Aerial Atom first came out, they were the first car to knock the Bugatti Veyron off the top spot for a zero to 60. Um, they've continued to build these things and refine them. Um, this one's got a Honda engine in it. I believe they're a, they're a, a turbocharged engine uh, in some of them. Some of them are naturally aspirated. Uh, extremely quick, zero to, uh, zero to 60 in uh, anywhere between 2.6 and 2.8. Really light, great looking car. So Ariel Atom. Then we have uh, Dave's really beautiful Ferrari. Of course, that Cannonball Run record holder. Uh, a really lovely papaya orange uh, McLaren 720S. Just love this color, love the shape of that car. And then we have Gary's uh, 650S, um, it's the spider of the uh, McLaren as well. Uh, moving right along, we have a uh, C7 Corvette. Jeb's Mustang. Uh, Jeb's the magi magician when it comes to uh, uh, paintless dent removal. You need a dent pulled out of your car, uh, look up Jeb, let us know, private messages. He's, he uh, fixed some in my Camaro and did a great job. Uh, really cool looking Mustang. Little Lancia. So, interesting car, you know, really great to see these cars that aren't um, aren't so common. Check it out. Lancia, of course, famous for uh, really dominating the rally um, industry and, and look at that engine in the back there. So, I think it was the Lancia Strata from memory. Um, back in the days when Audi first came along and were dominating world rally circuits because of their all-wheel drive, Lancia uh, played the game a little bit more a little bit more strategically and uh, it's a really interesting story if you get to read how Lancia dominated the, the World Rally that particular year. A really gorgeous looking little Alfa Romeo. We've actually featured this car as a car of the week in the past. Beautiful re restoration. Right, moving along. Look at this. So this is an SS. This is what Jaguar was before it became Jaguar. And I can imagine the era this came out, given what was happening uh, with World War II, SS was probably not a very popular name, so they evolved into, uh, into a Jaguar. Um, interesting, before the days of uh, blinkers or indicators, look at these little arms that would flop, um, flip out of the side. Such a classic looking lines, you know. That flathead six cylinder there, running a single SU carburetor. SUs have hardly ever changed over the years. I mean, this thing obviously is pretty old, but SUs really haven't changed. Such a simplistic carburetor to work on. Inside this is a brass barrel and the needle that goes down and then the vacuum causes the brass barrel to actually move up and down. And, and, and occasionally these things will start running badly and you've got to unscrew this top and fill it with very light machine oil and uh, all of a sudden it'll start running again. But um, I had a car years ago with, had a car with twin SUs on it and another car with triple SUs and they were, I actually used to tune them by ear, literally tune it like you're tuning a guitar. So a great looking GMC truck, a uh, little uh, Porsche for sale here, really nice little, little Boxster. Um, little uh, Datsun uh, pickup here, little 1600, isn't that great? Such classic lines. We've got a little Mazda here too as well, I believe, somewhere with a rotary and a little 356 Speedster. And then a, uh, a Viper. And then a really nice looking uh, GTR 35. It is really awesome. It, it is, isn't it? <laughs> and that killer. Yeah, I think you might be a little bit biased though, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, moving along, we've got a, a Pontiac Grand Prix. Great looking car. And then... Challenger running a 392. It's like an old Ford Custom Line, Austin Healey, a uh, El Camino, a Mitsubishi, and then a Supra. Uh, and as we go down through the line, this is kind of cool, check this out. Classic 60s muscle here. 
Here we go. And next to it is a uh, interesting look at the body lines, very similar. This is a 66 uh, six Impala 396. Uh, really nice looking uh, super sport. I was a bit of a sucker for these. Um, whereas most of the Chevys went to like had round tail lights at the back, the 66 actually ran this long, long tail light, which looked really, really cool. So, love it. Great looking car, all original in black. Uh, next sort of Chevy pickup. Uh, so actually, uh, laser by the look. And then a, uh, a Mopar Muscle 383 and a Challenger. Survivor car here, Pontiac uh, Firebird Trans Am. I think that is a 77, looking at that. Um, very cool. Gorgeous little MG, Mercedes 66 Corvette. Another uh, Ford here, it's great. Mustang, another Mustang. Cobra replica, GT350E, an Eleanor. Um, and then another Mustang here, Roberts, little Lotus. And then a uh, M6 BMW, and then a uh, Hellcat, of course, with that supercharged engine. Coming over the other side, we've got a C63, so AMG. This is nice, this is a um, Gen 5 Camaro Z28. Uh, great car. Um, I've mentioned this before, so many little things about this car that made it so street, street capable. I mean, the interior's got decent buckets in it. Um, great suspension, uh, carbon ceramic brakes on it, as you can see in there. Um, but what really made this engine, this car was this engine, which is it's the last time that uh, Chevy used this 427 LS7 engine in a, in a car. So very, very capable. They even they even talked about the fact that the, the badge was hollow to allow more air throw, airflow through to the uh, to the actual radiator and the um, heat exchanger, which I can see behind uh, the trans cooler or oil cooler, should I say, for the for the engine. Very cool. Uh, BMW, bit of carbon fiber on that. 930, 928S Porsche. Corvette, this is kind of cool. Look at this. Cruising in style. Isn't that interesting? Old Chrysler, town and country. Very cool. Great to see cars like that. Back to this Corvette. And then a uh, C63. Mustangs, two generations sitting there, very similar color, looks good. GT350, that great flat plane crank, great engine sound from those things. Um, another, uh, this time it's a Super Sport with a 396 in it. Great big block, those things. Cool looking C10 pickup, small block in it. Really like this too, this is a 69 Camaro. This color's called Rally Green. Uh, isn't spelt like Rally in the normal way, actually. Rally with an E at the end of it, from memory. Um, Z28, so it's got that 302 cubic inch engine in it, but I just love that rally green with the white uh, white uh, stripes on it. Looks really, really good. Um, on Pontiac, very cool. Next to an Evo, next to a couple of Corvettes along here. The Honda S2000, these things ramp incredibly. Cool looking truck, welcome. Um, Thanks for putting on a great show, Simon. You're Thank so you. welcome. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Great looking uh, split bumper Z28. Of course, split bumper, pretty easy to see why they called it that, you know, with that split in the front there. Very cool. 350 in that. Um, Cobra replica, another GT350. Cool looking uh, Riviera. Uh, BMW. And then there's John's The Thing. Tesla uh, S2000. Up here we've got a 68 GTO by the look. It's a great thing. Convertible. Uh, next to it, cool looking, cool looking bit of Dodge muscle there. Survivor car there, little 356. How cute's that? Mustang, Belvedere, a Mercedes, a Chevy SS. Next to another Chevy SS. Great little Nova wagon. And then a uh, Mercury Woody. Classic lines there, that high roof on that thing, very cool. A couple of C7 Corvettes. Uh, 94 Corvette there. C6, another C7. Another C6. Another C6, this one running a, uh, it's a Callaway, running a supercharger on it. Very cool. 
That's a cool old uh, Chevy there. A little Alfa Romeo Julia, nice little car. Chevy too, a couple of them side by side, which is great. Really cool looking resto mod, um, 69, running a uh, LS transplant. Really cool little uh, Beetle, Saturn, uh, Jaguar, convertible. That's a cool looking Jeep, this one's actually for sale. Look at this, 65 Jeep, it's actually a bargain. Nine and a half grand, that's an absolute bargain. Uh, this thing, the Chevelle, tough as anything, you will hear it start in a minute. A El Camino, it's a good morning, guys from Rebel Off Road, they're calling the Jeep. Uh, Firebird running that six cylinder, the Lame G SLK 32, uh, Fiat Arbor, little Miata. There's some cool cars along here, let's jump jump over to this side very quickly and go around. Cool looking old look at the bubble window on that thing, this is great. Uh, another GTO. Which is cool and a really cool looking Hudson pickup um, that's a bit of a contender for car of the week I reckon and a Pontiac GTO and a little Beetle a lot of Beetles there and a Jeep in the end so coming up the other side great looking little old Mercedes Toyota MR2 Lexus got a Prius in here you look the Prius in actually they've lowered it they put different wheels on it you know what it's not about the, the make or model of the car, it's about the passion of the person who drives it. So that's kind of cool. Love this. Um, very, very cool. This is a 67 uh, SS RS front end on this thing. Running a very tough looking big block. It's a bit of an old school custom in it, you know, but uh, big rubber on the back. Cool looking interior. Very cool. Thank you. Love a 67. Really nice. So, very cool. I'm moving a lot of cars to Australia now. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm not surprised. We, we love them over there, so uh, Dodge, Chevelle. Now, this is something I mentioned earlier. This is a little uh, rotary-powered uh, Mazda pickup. So look, look at that. Uh, and it's not only rotary, it's a turbo rotary. So this thing <laughs> would be an absolute sleeper. Check that out. Um, you'd pull up, this would pull up alongside of you and you wouldn't think anything of it. But a turbocharged rotary, that thing would be as quick as quick could be. Kind of cool. A uh, little Datsun uh, 240 or 260Z, a uh, little Chevy SS, a uh, Volkswagen Nova. Cool looking hot rod we've seen here before, 34, running a small block, Mustang, Lexus, with an interesting uh, wrap on it, changes colour. Little Z car here, little Fair Lady Z, really nice looking engine on this, check it out. The, uh, the uh, Solex side drafts on it, those little ram tubes on it, looks really cool. Uh, next to a Mercury and a Supra, another Mustang. This thing came in before, really cool, running little four inch pizza cutters on the front and then uh, bigger rubber on the back. <laughs> Love it. And then an uh, Edelbrock uh, E4 supercharger on the top of it. So this thing's a kind of a sleeper, but I think you know, those little cheese cut uh, pizza cutters on the front would be a bit of a giveaway. This is kind of cool. Uh, this is an uh, international. Um, uh, pickup, but it's a four door. It's designed for. Yeah, look at interesting. Look at this. Fun family vehicles. They're pitching in ass. It's a cool looking thing. So really nicely done. Great, great color. Henrietta, the name is on the door. Look at that on the door. That uh, laminated wood grain dash. Very cool. Corvette living is just there. Another beautiful Corvette. Early 60s, 327 in that. Uh, Pontiac Star Chief. This looks cool. Couple of uh, couple of Novas side by side. Check it out. Really cool. This run running a 396. This run running a 427. 427 in that Corvette as well. Another GT350. Couple of early Mustangs here. Uh, 69 convertible here. Mustang and then up to a uh, a Baja Bug. Across the other side, we've got a another Chevelle. Another 69 Camaro here, really nice looking sleek Jaguar here, classic looking car. Isn't that great? I love the black wire wheels on it, look, look really stealth. Uh, Porsche M6, it's a row of Mustangs, one, two, three, four, five, six of them in a row. Welcome to all the Mustang guys, appreciate you bringing your cars out onto a Thunderbird down here. And then a uh, charger, 
Running 392. Really nice little Corvette. 64, I think. Another beautiful Corvette. Isn't that lovely? Two generations of Corvettes sitting side by side. And another one here too. Wow, it's beautiful. Love that colour. Not quite red, so it's almost a corally colour. Some more Corvettes down here. A Honda Focus ST. Little Nissan Ute. I call it a Ute, you call it a pickup. Um, slingshot, a little three wheeled. Great little uh, track for. Great car for to do some canyon roads on. Closest thing to riding a motorcycle without being on a motorcycle. Uh, a couple of Porsches there. Another Trans Am. I think this one's a 78 or 9 with those headlights. The last one we looked at had a grill in the front, this one didn't. Uh, Hellcat Charger. Another cool uh, Corvette. Hellcat Challenger. Viper. Another classic Corvette, a uh, C6 CR1, which means it's got that uh, LS9 supercharged engine. Um, it's really interesting to see this. This is the same Inferno orange as my Camaro. You don't normally see it on Corvettes. Uh, C7 Corvette, uh, another C6 here. Uh, late 60s, early 70s. I'm guessing someone will be able to correct me in the notes, I'm sure. I'm thinking sort of 69 or so. Uh, Target's off of that as well. Uh, Chevy there, Mustang. Another Mustang, Porsche, and then a cool looking old Buick, and then a little Mazda 3. Over here we've got a Cayman a Carrera, both in the in silver, a little 318 BMW, Mercedes, Mustang, Gen 6 Camaro, that little uh, uh, full drive van. Mitsubishi, I think it's, it's right here, drive. Corvette, another Corvette. Great looking old Dodge truck, check it out. Uh, next to another really, really cool looking uh, Chevy truck. Love how neat the outside of it's look really patina, but just such a neat engine bone there. Small block, uh, look the way all of this has been done. It's just really, really neat. Very cool. Just clean, simple, easy to work on too, which I love. Very cool. Um, Malibu, great color. Sort of not sort of bluey green. Little, uh, little row of focuses here. One, two, three, four. And then uh, Toyota. Um, very uh, well loved little BMW. Little the little coupe here. This little hard top. You know these things polarize people. Um, I personally, that's cool. That old dark thing there. Uh, I personally never liked one of these. They reminded me of the shape of a shoe. But my friend Sean loves them. So, personal taste. That's the best part of our cars. It'd be pretty boring if we all drove the same cars. Uh, moving right along, we've got a Genesis. And uh, next to another Corvette. Um, and then up here, we've got uh, a Packard. Now, uh, on the 30th, Saturday the 30th, we've got the Packard Club joining us. So if you like Packards or if you own a Packard, make sure they come along on the 30th of this month. And in our front row, we'll have a full collection of uh, Packards. Um, wow, how cool. Look at this, isn't that great? Look at the lines of these cars. I love the fact that two of them side by side. I love the fact that people look after these cars as well. So very cool. Uh, Mustang, Corvette, a uh, little McLaren sitting over here, 570S, nice, Subaru, Honda, a, uh, uh, I think it's a Lexus, but I could be, uh, no, it might be Z car, sorry, 370Z, uh, Honda, had so much bodywork, it was hard to done, uh, Mazda and then a little Lexus, and then around the last side we've got a uh, Corvette, another Corvette, BMW with a wrap on it, uh, the uh, Mazda Speed 6, which was running that uh, 2.3 litre turbo engine all drive. The regular 6 in this market, at least a lot of them are running a V6. The Japanese ones had that 2.3 um, and a 5 speed. This thing, I think, came out with a 6 speed. Really great, short footed little car designed to compete against the Subarus, this sort of thing at the time. Really, really cool car. Uh, the Holy Grail, in my opinion, of off roaders, a Defender. Check this thing out. This is serious work. This is what uh, Mercedes G-Wagon drivers would drive if they actually wanted to go seriously off-roading and not worried about what other people thought. Love it. Very cool. Classic car. Very sad that they've uh, brought that that vehicle to it to an end. Um, Subi. 
little uh, GNX Buick. I mean, that's the turbocharged uh, V6. Really clean looking uh, Chevy convertible there. Volkswagen, another Volkswagen. Got a row of them here, three of them. Subaru BRZ, a uh, Hellcat uh, Charger. Love that grey, looks really good. Uh, Corvette, and then a BMW. Oh, this is kind of cool. This came in on trailer. Race history, obviously. Look at that. Uh, contender for car of the week, I think. Very interesting. Look at that. Very cool. Please don't leave uh, before we come back and see you. I'd like to make this car of the week. Sure. Excellent. Thank you. Awesome. I'll be back in a few minutes. So I'd love to hear more about this. I've seen cars like that. Uh, BMW. Another BMW. Little M4. And then a uh, Corvette. AMG. Mini. MGB. And another yeah, BMW. And uh, yeah, interesting. This is the uh, little BMW um, Z8. They, the US was really the only place they sold. Um, for me, one of the things that I could never get past is they put the gauges in the middle of the dash. And as a guy who likes everything straight in front of me when I drive, if you've seen my Camaro, you know that I've got a couple of uh, gauges in pods actually out on the hood. It's a little bit disconcerting to have, in a sports car, have the gauges not in my direct line of sight. But that's what they did. Um, pulling big money these days. Um, this one's for sale. He's got 250k on it. So let's see how he goes. But interesting, you know. Um, good, good for them, you know. Uh, Lexus, another Lexus, another one. Three in a row. A little uh, um, Subaru BRZ, Mercedes, and then a uh, C7 Corvette Grand Sport next to a. Uh, Camaro ZL11LE, very cool, great car, absolutely kicks and butt at Nürburgring, uh, Mustang, interesting colour, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, it's not really brown, it's not really, it's sort of really cool, it's interesting, a little uh, Evo here, and then uh, Corvette leaving us, BMW, another BMW, And then uh, over this side, we've got Mustang, Honda, Infiniti, Corvette. And as we come up towards the end, little Toyota 86, Volkswagen R32. I was running that six cylinder, not the turbocharged four cylinder, uh, like a lot of the Golf did. AMG. And uh, cool looking Chevy truck, C20. And then. Uh, Mustang, love that orange, looks great. So let's have a look at some motorcycles. Cool looking uh, Motor Guzzi uh, Le Mans. It's great. What a common motorcycle, a Kawasaki uh, C900 RS. Um, Ducati. It's very cool. Cool looking exhaust on that. An old uh, Honda, look at that. Six cylinder Honda CBX. What a great, great motorcycle. I wonder what year that is. Very cool. Uh, really nice awesome. white Ducati. Uh, next to one another, really nice little motorcycle here, and then a BMW, that's very cool, <laughs> a little scooter, we welcome everybody, and a Harley Davidson and finally a Kawasaki up here. So that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Thanks everybody for bringing out your great cars and motorcycles. Um, thanks also to Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts and of course the outlets of San Clemente for uh, allowing us to be here. Don't forget on the 30th of this month, uh, we are going to have the, uh, the Packard Club here, so that'll be great. And the following weekend, which is the 7th, we're gonna have all of the Chevy Novas. So a couple of good weeks to look out for. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.